So let's talk about what the remote management means on the iPhone. So you might be wondering about that, what this is actually all about. And remote management allows usually like in a higher organization or authority like a school or business or other institutions to control and configure an iPhone remotely. So usually, for instance, school iPads are great for learning experiences, but the school usually enforces some sort of rules and uh, security policies and app restrictions. So the users, the students are not allowed to do everything or anything else on the iPad except for learning what's going on in school, right? So it is a great feature for schools and uh, businesses in general. So devices enrolled in the, this kind of remote management will probably have some limited access to certain settings, apps, or even features. And the way that it kind of works is that at the setup process, the profile is usually installed right there. So it's not like they just buy a new iPhone or iPad and just, you know, set it up normally and then perform some changes or limitations, but instead they just set up the profile right away and the administrator just sets everything up so it can be controlled only with his permission, right? So users perhaps will be able to see a message on their device of saying that the remote management is in place. So there isn't really much what they can do about it. But yeah, to in order to remove it, we need to ask for the permission from the administrator or from the person setting it up. So there isn't really much else what you can do on your own if your device is enrolled in a, the remote device management. So hopefully I did an okay job of explaining to you how it kind of works. That's basically everything I wanted to let you know about. So let me know below in the comments if you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video.